how much money would a world champion in calisthenics make? If you win the world championship, nothing. Yo, that's mad. If I try to injure myself, try to like break my fingers. Mm. If this video gets 10,000 likes, I'll do gym dates naked. My God. So you fell on hard ground. Yeah, yeah. I missed the mats. Where did the blood come from your head? You were kind of at a low point though. No, mentally I was totally gone, checked out. What's something people don't know about you? Yo, this is gonna be fucking weird. <laughs> Welcome to the Bulletproof Podcast. We've got Mr. The Man himself, the Gorilla Gang Nation, Dayan Stipke. You're expecting some claps, eh? Uh, Danny to clap. <laughs> yeah, Danny. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> Thank so you for having me. Very long four days yeah. here in Malta, your first time in Malta, bro. How are you feeling? Tired. Tired, yeah. And you guys wanted to do the podcast at the end? Yeah. Before the flight? I'm dead. Because we're going to have a lot to talk about, that's why. Yeah, well, it was fun. So guys, I've been following Mr. Stipke for about two, three years. I've been watching his content, street workouts, even gym content. That really got me interested into looking into you. Very inspiring, bro. A lot of people, yes, they said that as well. And a funny story with how it all started with Bulletproof and with yourself mm -hmm. is we got Dennis for a reacting to TikTok video <laughs> and the main man himself was jumping over this huge height. Yeah. And she reacted to it. You you, you replied to that yeah. Instagram. Because Denise thought video. you were all shit, that's why. Fake. Yeah, she thought it's it was all, fake. It's all fake. I remember that. That was during COVID. Twenty twenty one. Yeah. Twenty one? Yeah. yeah. Twenty one, twenty two? I think something 20, like that. I think twenty one. I was in Berlin filming. The, the jump and everything, and then that popped off. The number one, the production of it, the whole thing, how you guys filmed, I was like, okay, that's proper, yeah. proper, right? And then we started talking, right? Yeah. Right after. We're telling yeah. about the outdoor gym, like we're gonna fucking open the first proper outdoor gym in Malta, and we've been hyping it up ever since. That's how long it's been. Yeah. That's how long the Slima gym has been. Long you in know? the making, huh? Yeah. Pretty long. Yeah. I still, I still remember being at the shoot, and Denise was like, this guy is... This guy's all shit. It can't be he jumped that high. I he decided to recreate it and try and fake it. And locally, it went around like the news. Oh, the really? And they posted it saying, oh, Denise is so strong. What like the they hell? fell for it. That's wild. Yeah, it's crazy. If, like for me, who has like experience, I can see it's fake. Because you, can, mean, you yeah. can't jump like that. <laughs> There's no way. Yeah. But a lot of people thought it was fake. Mine. A lot. Yours Even, as well? <laughs> Because it went kind of viral on uh, on TikTok, right, yeah. and Instagram, and everyone thought it was like fake, yeah. like no way. Casual, casual fans, or you know when uh, a video goes like viral, beyond your own, your own yeah. bubble, yeah. and then you have like random casual people yeah. commenting, bullshit, it's yeah, bad, yeah. it's bad, it's yeah. fake. You're always gonna have the haters, yeah. eh? and that's TikTok for you. Yeah, that's every I think social media, even on YouTube. If you go viral there. Random well, people. Take us all the way back. Like, how did it all? Like, you were into gymnastics from a, from a very young age, and you got into street workout, and then you got it onto mm. YouTube. How did it all like take I mean, us all the way back? Yeah, I mean, the whole beginning. I was basically bred to be an athlete, so started off really young, six years old. Gymnastics, seven, yeah. Yeah, and already competing at um, seven years old. Shit. Right. Parents influence to get you involved? Yeah, or? mostly par family. Yeah. yeah, mostly family. And um, yeah, started competing in 2000. 2000 gymnastics. 2000. Yeah, 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 family in gymnastics, though? Not, not, not like high level, nothing like, you know, like everyone does yeah. some kind of sport. But no one like high level in my, in my family. But they, I, I was an active kid, right? Why was it gymnastics, though, out hmm? of all sports? What is there a reason? Uh, my family, my relatives were really close to the trainer there, right? And I think even my, my dad went to the same gym there like a long time ago. Uh, my mom, I think other relatives, right? Because it's a small town, yeah. so only club, right? Yeah. So like uh, I think in schools and everything, people were going there for like class and everything. So they just, I was an active kid. They were just like, like, okay. Yeah, yeah, I was like an active kid. They were just waiting for me to get a little bit older. Uh, I still remember going to the gym and uh, seeing my friend from kindergarten there. Whatever his name was, like Luca, yeah. was like there. I'm like, oh, my friend, right? 
they're like, oh, you want to do a workout? And back then, when you start doing like that type of training, it's more play. Yeah. They get you in by playing, working out, but you're also like playing. They make it fun. So it's like having fun, but I was already better than any other kid there, mm. right? So after a month, they put me in a higher group, more advanced. After two months, boom, another group. And Wait, then a year damn. later, I'm already competing. Damn, at seven. Right? Yeah. And yeah. the friend that I, Luca, yeah. right? You never saw him again? Yeah, I saw him again. I have no <laughs> idea. After a month, he was already gone. Maybe gave up. Who knows? Yeah. Right? But I continued. And then after a year, started competing and then compete, competed for like 11 years, more than a decade. So up until 2010, 11? 2011, I think, retired. Yeah. You were 18, yeah? Around I was 18. like 18. I was around 18, I was already like backing off. It was already going like... Uh, Any reason like you started going out or was it just because... That's usually what happens, no? Uh, yeah, for me, it was like um, injuries mostly. Injuries? Yeah, yeah. The equipment there was pretty bad as well old right old equipment and uh, i just started getting injured one by one i had one big injury one big trauma where i fell on my head from the high bar oh, shit. in a competition in hungary i did a giant 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 and then i stepped down and my trainer was like what's up i'm like no 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 it's all good but i was afraid something was different you know when you come into the room and something is different Something is like wrong, the feeling. And I knew like the bar, the feeling, I don't know, something was really wrong. But my trainer was like, you know what? We, we don't have to do it. If you think you can't, we don't have to do it. But I was like, I'll, yeah. I think I'll do it. You know, I'll push yeah. through it, I'll do it. And I remember like, oh, I was terrified, terrified. I grabbed the bar, one giant, other giant, blackout, woke up on the on the ground in Damn. a pool of blood. Damn. I just woke up. So I missed the mats, totally. So you fell on hard ground? Yeah, yeah, I missed the mats. Where did the blood come from, your head? My head, yeah, my mouth. How old were you? 16. Shit, Fuck, man. Something like that. Fell on my head. Remember that, and then after that, it was like downhill. That sent you out for how long, that injury? Not uh, mentally, still. Uh, that mentally. Mentally, that, uh, still. yeah, but... Physically, I, maybe not long, maybe two months, yeah. a month. I don't know. I don't remember, like, yeah. concussion and everything. Yeah. It's uh, pretty blurry. I think in a sport like gymnastics, people underestimate the risk. That no, you can die at any time. Yeah. Any time. High bar, psh, anything can happen. But yeah, from there, um, I got traumatized by it. And if you're scared of anything, you're done. Yeah. yeah. And I couldn't get, go past it. Then other injuries came and I was like, done. I had to quit. I had to quit in 2011 or it will go really bad. And I'm assuming you were at a low point um, in your life in that kind of phase, no? Because you were gymnastics for 10, 11 years, doing well. That injury sent you out. Mentally, like, like you're saying, was like not feeling 100%. And then... You, you were kind of at a low point, though. No, mentally, I was totally gone, checked out. Like, I don't want to work out anymore. I, I don't have any friends. I've been working out two times a day, right? Competing on the weekends. I can't go out. People are inviting me, oh, let's go to the, here, let's go play, let's go play food. I, I can't, I have, I have to yeah. work out, plus school in between. Yeah. So, like, I can't, I can't work out. I not work out. I can't play, I can't party, you're a teenager, yeah. you can't be around girls because you're training all the time, someone is inviting you on a date or whatever, <laughs> I can't go, I can't, right? And it's like that, like, yeah. for a long time, I was totally checked out, and then I started not showing up to the, to the workouts, and then just one day, my trainer, the team was like, you're done, <laughs> and I couldn't wait, I couldn't wait, because I couldn't stop. I tried once and they took, they told me to take like a one week break. I took a one week break and I have to work out. Yeah. So after that one week, I was like, I'm back, yeah. right? I need to work out. Yeah. But the low point was like when I tried to injure myself during workouts. Oh, damn. Cause I was like, I can't, I can't give up. So I have to, if I get injured, 
Then excuse. I can have a break. I can have a break. Yeah, that's mad. Right. So I try to injure myself. Try to like break my fingers during the workouts. Right. To grab the bar, not properly, so I could break. I oh. couldn't. It couldn't break because I already broken it before. So I couldn't break it too. It couldn't break. So I was like, fuck. Then try to try to get injured. No point, yeah. yeah, just try to get injured. So I take, oh, if I get, you know, if I break one finger, that's like one month off. And when right. you were growing up, you were more into training. Not, you weren't really into academic school. No. I was okay, right? But I was like working out two times a day and competing yeah. on the weekends. So when you I go to school, training, yeah, yeah. The, the teachers and everyone was like, oh, he's an athlete. Just, yeah. So, so like, it was uh, perceived like that from a very young age. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's this, an, this kid is an athlete. He's like, an athlete. Just okay. let, him, let him work out. And how, how were your parents? Like, were they supportive of this athlete Yeah, I mean, career? yeah, yeah, fully. So it's yeah. like when a teacher used to ask you what you want to be when you're older, it's like, I want to be an Pro athlete. professional athlete. Yeah. yeah, since young. Yeah, that mindset, man. And it's good that you had your parents behind you. A lot of kids usually don't have full support from parents in sports or fitness because it's, it's harder, you know? Yeah, yeah. But at the end, from that injury and everything, it was like, I'm getting older. School is not that great. I didn't, I didn't care too much. So when I quit, I was like, oh, what now? Right? So for a year, I think for a year, I just did everything I could, just party, drink. I never drank alcohol, right? Never partied, so I started partying, girls, all of that, for like a year, yeah, almost for a year. And it was like the low, again, another low point, yeah. right? So I lost everything. All my gains didn't work out, ate junk food, even back then when I was training, I was eating junk food because we didn't have any knowledge about nutrition yeah. back, back then in 2005. And, but that was like another low point after the athlete career. What's, what changed, man? What was the flip for you from that what? year of break to... Like, how did you end up here, bro? Um, you know what? When I was a gymnast, I used to watch uh, Hannibal, Hannibal for King. Because my trainer was like, oh, check this guy on YouTube. Like back in, I think 2008, something like that. He was like showing me like videos of Hannibal doing a front lever. And we tried to do a front lever and I couldn't do it. And I'm like a semi-pro and I couldn't do a front lever. Wow, that's like, whoa. So flashback 2012, one year of no training. I was literally sitting at home, like, like no future what the hell am I going to do? There's no way I can work a nine to five. No way. I was like uh, flipping through the channels on TV and boom, Eurosport World Championship 2012, I think. Of calisthenics? Yeah, Shit. 2012, I think. And I was like, holy, there's like a whole different, it looks like a gymnastics, like, but on the streets, a bigger crowd, people clapping, music, a totally different vibe, right? And I was like, oh, I can, like, <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> I've been doing that, right? And it's like a lower quality of, from the gymnastics, Gymnastic, right? Yeah. Like yeah. lower quality with music, but there's like, everyone has their own, you know, swagger, yeah, everything style, like, yeah. To yeah. Like totally different. You can maybe consider it like street gymnastics, like you know, you have football. Yeah, street that's football. how they like when they uh, before when people ask you like, what do you do? Street. It was all, yeah, yeah. Because you couldn't <laughs> explain like street workout. <laughs> that was the first time you heard you've ever seen calisthenics ever on your. Yeah, school. but I've been doing it. Yeah, you just since didn't know. I, yeah. But we didn't have the term. We didn't. But I've been doing it for a long time. Yeah, we never, you know, had the name for it. That type of training, and. Um, and so from that moment of watching that video on, on Eurosport, did you just get out of the house and find an outdoor gym? Did you literally, know? literally watch that? I was like, I can do that. World Championship, I can do that. And then uh, I met up with my friend and he was like, oh, did you watch the, did you watch on YouTube? No, no, no. So we started watching. At the same time in 2012, they opened a park in my hometown. Same time? Yeah, ah, in 2012. So like, let's... Let's go and work out, right? Uh, went there, started doing like uh, 
workouts, uh, no one in the park. Only me and him, Milan. Only me and him in the whole park. No one there. And then we started like, uh, already back then we had like, oh fuck, we can make a team, right? We can make content, yeah. we can make money. No one in, in 2012 is like making money, right? Barely or doing or like traveling yeah. or making yeah. any crazy content, only like a few people. And we're like, oh, we can do that. We can make a team. Because back then, that's not uh, typical today, but back in like 2000, uh, 12, 13, 14, you had like teams everywhere. Teams right? of calisthenics? Yeah. Like every city had a team. Every country had a team. Multiple, right? It's like a community yeah, type yeah. of thing. And then competitions inside the community. So we made a team. Shit. We made a team. We made like a Facebook page. And after a year, almost a year, we had a group of 25 people <laughs> and a whole because we start posting and yeah. doing everything. You made the vibe, you made, a, we you made, a we made everything. Like and then boom, like the, not even a year later, we had a whole park full of people, you know, full park. What's mad, this is like the one thing that I'm, I'm seeing, like Dan wasn't even into calisthenics, didn't even know about it. He saw something on the television, so he saw media and he had an outdoor gym open in his area. And that was what made the soul. That's crazy. Yeah. And look, you had the, we had the opening yesterday, right? Media was there. Yeah. New park. Yeah. Someone will watch that and yeah. be like, oh, Is that, I yeah. can do that. And someone will watch you say that. And, do and that's going to inspire them more. Same and thing, that's like, what's mad. Same thing like how we started like yeah. our content on outdoor gyms, like saying, listen, we need outdoor gyms in Malta. That media, people watched it. The, the community, the, fit, the Maltese fitness community watched it. Mm. And like, listen, we need this stuff. At least the councils and the government heard our, you know, voice, and they helped us set up something yeah. like this. So it's like on a different note, but still parallels to the yeah, same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yesterday that that park sort of happened like before we had launched a bulletproof. I still remember we were sort of walking along that part where the gyms were closed, so there was nowhere to train. And obviously we used to go to the gym, so we ended up always walking and trying to go to like a kids park and hang yeah, yeah. on the bar and you know everyone's complaining because yeah. there's kids mm -hmm. and the only outdoor gyms we had the most were the, the ones with the, oh, yeah, the yeah. and the there typical. was there was like an outdoor gym where where, where in slima there but it wasn't good the, the, the bars were way too wide people getting injured the pull-up bars were mm -hmm. short for me and you know mm -hmm. the rest typical, of the yeah, yeah. was just invalid. And we're like you know like how can we somehow i don't know do something that's going to create change and somehow see this actually take shape so yesterday was mad to oh, see perfect it's the that. spark you need. Yeah, that's right? it. The park was full. It was. So even, even if you have 20 people who start working out, yeah. from those 20, yeah. it's going to grow. So imagine I'm seeing like what happened to you and how you grew it in your town and how you became who you are today. Could really happen over there. Yeah. Because I was seeing yeah. the guys already talking about doing events every week and they want to start creating competitions and create an organization. And yep. It was crazy, man. Yep, yep. Growing already. Yeah. That shit is crazy. marked a new like age for malt at least when it comes to outdoor fitness it's like you get how many people like 200 people there mm. all gathered the vibe was great you were there like and you as a person who's one of the pioneers of the street yeah. workout in um, the last 10 years you can say especially when you t when you took off and when you started and you be you being there and us behind the whole community i think it's going to see a lot of new people join this um outdoor gym calisthenics yeah. community yep. and like you were saying as well more females will start getting into it as well because since malta this is the second functional outdoor gym in malta and we took you around all malta yeah and um, for the past three four days and you were telling us like listen there's like you've got a lot of area a lot of space to actually create these spaces because you have the sun you have the hills you have the sea yep. so a lot the of climate is potential. you can work out all the time out yeah. no need for the gym yeah just need to build more, need to build uh, more events, more community, competitions. It will take time. Yeah, yeah. Maybe not long because you're killing it right yeah. now. So it's not going to, like before, back in 2012, 13, it was difficult. Yeah. It was difficult to do anything, yeah. right? We organized a competition in 2013. We had like 200 also. 200. That's nice. That's a lot, right? 200 people. Even for that time, this yeah. social media wasn't, it was on the, on the come up. I think it was yeah, more YouTube. Yeah, no, it wasn't that big. Yeah. I remember getting like on Facebook, like 100 likes. Yeah. I was like, holy fuck, 
right? And then getting more and more, 501,000. Instagram wasn't that popping off. Yeah, yeah. It, it wasn't even Instagram wasn't even was big, like yeah. from 2014, 15, yeah, it started, yeah, started yeah, getting yeah. taken off. Yeah. So like uh, right now you have all of the capability, all of the media. You're the media. Yeah. Yeah. I never had the media behind my back. Yeah. Never. Yeah. Never. When I went to the World Championship, they made me in the newspaper like I'm not shitting you this much. This big of a part. <laughs> and I'm going to the World Championship. With everything that you're saying, give us a bit of a background on the calisthenics world from where you are from Serbia. Like what's the the training like over there how, how big has it been is it popular you know uh, at the beginning it was really big huge when i competed when i started traveling uh it was pretty big and then i think from 2015 no maybe even a little bit later until almost two years ago it was calmed down not not much Why? not why um there was no future i think in it right people need to work people need to make money and to be a full-time and wanting to be a professional you need to be fully in it you need to start making money from it so a lot of people couldn't do it right really long term even if they were really good athletes they stopped maybe competing, they didn't travel because they didn't have the capabilities to travel, yeah. they didn't They didn't have it. So yeah, it's a vicious right? cycle, yeah, yeah. So in 2023, how much money would a world champion in calisthenics make in a year? Forget sponsorships, like from the actual competition. Like no. if, if he won the world championship, maybe a couple of regional events. If you win the world championship, nothing. No, no, no cash prize? Depends on the competition, right? And uh, organization. They do get on some competitions, 500, 1,000, they get their flights paid or anything like that, but they're not making a crazy amount of money like other pro athletes, right? Why? I'm not sure. It was always like that, right? Until yeah. some steps and yeah, I think when offers it comes, like more money. It comes down to sport, it's like all the eyeballs <laughs> and attention is kind of what's going to result into... It's where the money is, I think. Where the money is. All yeah, but know? even when we were getting millions of views, we were not really getting paid, right? Like how many times I competed, maybe, literally, from direct, <laughs> direct competitions, maybe in the last decade, I made 500 euros, maybe. From, from competitions. competitions. Yeah. We gave more money out yesterday. Yeah. The, the guy yeah, yeah, the yeah for a pull up challenge. A random guy on, from the street. He made as much as the world champion. Yeah. More. He made double. <clears throat> That's mad. Bro. Yeah. So that needs to change. Like, there are a few athletes. Like, if you win on some competitions, you do get 500, 1000, but nah, not, you're not getting 5K, 10K, and all yeah. of that. And so for, mostly they are working either a proper job, yeah. they're doing PT, yeah. maybe sponsorship here and there, nothing huge, depending on the athlete, but nothing proper. And for all the viewers at home, like who might not be familiar with like street workout, calisthenics competitions, run me through very briefly of how a competition works. So like how does this, how many participants, how many stages what are, are you there, judged on? how they're judged on. Yeah, it depends on the competition. You have the World Championship, the main one from the Federation, which you have it this year at uh, Latvia in uh, Riga. You have that one where all of the national champions go. So if you win your national in Morocco, in Malta, whatever, you go to the World Championship. You have the World Cup, which are stages around the world. So if you win on a stage in Hong Kong, you go directly to the final wherever it's going to be, right? Yeah. So you have those competitions, you have national competitions, for, which are country based. And then you have like uh, different kind of competitions, like the one at FIBO, which was like yeah. the Cologne Cup, where I think they got money for that one. Um, and different competitions like that. You have like categories, like with the male and female. So you have like over some weight or under some yeah, weight. Yeah, currently they have male, female, freestyle. Also they have the strength competitions. Uh, endurance or strength, uh, weight categories for the past like few years they have, right, below or above, 
but yeah, it's more and more professional now yeah. and fair. What was your category, your favorite? There was no. When was I competed, it? no category. No? No. Yeah. I competed, it doesn't matter if you have 90 kg or 50, I competed with everyone. Mm -hmm. And how did your like social media take off? Like you were very strong on YouTube from a, from a very early time or run us through. I didn't have a YouTube channel until no? 2017. Whoa. Damn. So where was all the initial attention coming from? Uh, I think mostly Instagram. Instagram was like the main push. I had YouTube videos, right? But they were not mine. So millions and millions of views on other channels, on other, other channels right? People clipping them, making their own montage, montage monetizing. whatever. Yeah, <laughs> monetizing on me. But I was never, I was like, oh. I didn't have a team. It was all, all me, right? And um, did it by myself, documenting everything I did on social media documenting and it popped off in 2013 just before the world cup that i went okay popped off a little bit because i was posting like transformations your personal transformation yeah 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 like the 2012 to 13 right okay one year transformation i literally remember posting that before that i was getting like 100 likes maybe you know on a picture and then i posted that one went to the bathroom came back it had like 500 Jeez. i was like whoa then a thousand two thousand three thousand just went up and then from there on every post i did was getting thousands of like oh fucking you know and you've been doing workshops for a long time now uh from when did i do maybe from 2015 yeah i think 2015 yeah. There's a particular video of one of your workshops where it went super viral ah, the push on up. TikTok, the, the push-up to stand. Yeah, but impossible push-up. I was trying that yesterday. Impossible push-up, yeah. Sean, don't do me dirty. <laughs> everyone, everyone was trying it. Went viral on TikTok, but it's an old video. It went viral in 2021 and it was like filmed in 2018. You still had hair, bro. Yeah, no, <laughs> no beard, nothing, yeah. it's a little bit smaller. But we did that in a workshop in uh, Zurich, in Bardock Gym. I did that there. It was on YouTube, the whole video, like 10 minutes, 20 minutes. We had a whole live, everything. It was all on YouTube. But one day we were like starting like TikTok and like the shorts channel. Let, let's clip it. And the thing is like it went viral on TikTok, where it's like, a, you know, yeah, you need like 10 seconds video, 15, 20, right? That was and this a three, was long. It was like a three minute video. It was a three minute video on TikTok and only at the end I did a push up. So people watched the whole All thing the and then boom. <laughs> there. 17 million views. It's crazy. It's wild. Got like 300k followers from you just that, that one You did the video. workshop yesterday, yeah? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I did. Every workshop I do is usually either that, handstands, and just anything they want to want to know. It's like the fundamentals. I guess you start with that. Yeah. Before, really. Yeah, from the beginning. Depending on the workshop and what they want and the level of people, what they want to learn, and go from there. How was this day's event for you? Really good, really good. I was expecting a lot of people, but not that much. It was wild. Good organized, good people. Uh, the park is great. The location is great. I literally have no complaints on it. I think a lot of people now in Malta will start really practicing their way they have to. Ups. <laughs> yeah. No, they have to. And I told yeah. people there when they were like, oh, I never did before, like, oh, it's yeah. time yeah. to start. I mean, right. even, even having you there, a lot, there were a lot of people who knew you and a lot of people who came and were telling you that they started training because of you. Yeah, so as that's well. That's quite mad that. That's always, always weird to me. Yeah. Like I go to a country where I've never been and you have people there who follow you. It's always weird. We were talking about that yesterday, like since we've been living together for four years and I think that really builds a really personal relationship together. And sometimes- You said, you said four years. Four days, no? You said four years. Years. <laughs> My God. Already <laughs> four, holy again. shit. Oh, yes. Bro, he's loving it, huh? My God. Like uh, that, 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 that was a whole, long weekend. It was a long weekend, man. That, that shows the extent. I, for, I even forgot we shot guns. <laughs> <laughs> man, we, we shot, like, the Denise shoot feels like 
ages ago, bro. Yeah, that was, that was a month ago, bro. <laughs> the box jump, that was We did so much, and we wanted to do so much more. Uh, what were we saying as well about this, of the four days? Uh, we were discussing yesterday, like, obviously when you were coming to, to Malta, there was a lot of hype, you know, that you kind of, sm- you're on that pinnacle stage of street workout, social media and all the stuff. And people, when they were seeing it yesterday, they were like taking photos, really inspiring. And they thought, fo- like, when we're living with you to get, like for the past four days, it's like, bro, you're just a, Bro, like You're a bro. to yeah, us, yeah. you know. Yeah. Like people forget that with the social media, um, yeah. what do you call it? Mirror, maybe? Sound? Mirror. Yeah, I mean, uh, blur the lines. For me, I'm just a, a guy. Yeah. I'm a guy who is working out and doing content, and that's yeah. it. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's and, weird and to I me. feel that from you. It's weird to me when I go to an event and people are talking to me and telling their own story, and sometimes I'm like, yeah. Taking bio, like what the fuck? Not so bad, it's yeah. like wild. Like I said, like going into a country where I haven't been before, you don't know what you gonna expect. Yeah. Literally, yeah. like I was like, oh fuck, what if I come to the event and no one wants to take a picture, right? No one, like oh fuck, I need to work more, yeah. right? So it's always kind of weird coming in and then people actually know you. Yeah, I think it's the strength, like in terms of Malta, we're English speaking, and like commercially youtube instagram TikTok, everyone's on it so for people there's a there's a greater chance of people to know who you are and know of you a lot of services as well in malta oh. yeah well, <laughs> a lot of them yeah. yeah yeah what i think was great is even like malta being so small it's not like you get you know high profile individuals every day or mm. a lot that are actually high profile locally so mm. being an island it's very cut yeah. off like you said like when you come here it does feel a bit yeah like tight Tight. You know, yeah. so when there's something like that, it's it's well, that, that's also that good bigger. for you, yeah. And that's also really good because you can really promote it. You can really get people involved, yeah. right? When you have a million people, how are you gonna reach that? It's yeah. a little bit harder here with 300k people, and being 500k, 500. Yeah, yeah. It's it's easier, yeah. definitely. I think this the past four days really showed us the opportunity of bringing people like yourself down to Malta, I mean, it could be more, it could be other countries as well. But what I'm trying to say is like in Malta, there's a big clubbing scene, mm. big clubbing scene. So in summer, if we start from May, June, all the way up to September, with a lot of headline DJs come down. Mm. And now it's like, what if we kind of do the same thing, but with fitness? And the thing is, fitness is obviously more approachable. You can create more activities, events. Yep. A DJ is gonna come, play a set, leave. When it comes to something, like this, we can create workshops, competitions, activities, meet and greets, it's a life social pa- events. A full package. Yeah. You have everything. You have music, which yeah. will bring in people. You can do a show. You can bring in athletes. You can do a workshop. You can teach. You can have a competition. People like to compete. Yeah. Yeah. They like to compete for money or any <laughs> yeah. type. Yeah. <laughs> like everyone was like, people who couldn't do a pull-up, yeah. they wanted to yeah. compete. Yeah. Gym sessions, lifestyle. Like I think that's something that we really realized, like living in this space together for the four days going around and traveling a bit even for us because we're always like like we tell you since we're always trying to plan these projects we're always digging into our laptops for 10 11 hours and the past four days was really nice to actually enjoy this kind it's uh, for us it's a big eye opener although it's like we're still filming we're still doing events we're still having people call us for x y and z but at the same time it's a big eye opener for where we want to be in the next three, six months, one year with the team that we're building. Yeah. Even you felt part of the team, like yeah, with, yeah, with Mick, yeah, Nick, um, Sean, Carl, Danny. Danny, when he's working. <laughs> Shout out to Danny. Subscribe to his YouTube. Subscribe to the show. <laughs> yeah, so. 100 <laughs> k baby. So that was all really positive. And we're also discussing the car, because guys, we drove a lot the past four days since we we're based in Gozo. Shout out to Muscat's Motors for giving us the Defender for the four days. Hell yeah. Stay in yeah. Malta to really enhance the experience for us with the nice sunroof. They, they, they just messaged music. us to see when we're taking it back and we're like, oh, no, we're not, no, no, no. We're not bringing it back. No. In June, we need a, oh, bent, we need a Bentley or something. In June. <laughs> <laughs> I vibe with it. And what we're also doing in the car is we're discussing and having a lot of chatting and this. And that's one thing I want to touch, like not touch base, but have a discussion on. Like, I feel like you have a very personal um, personality. So 
talking to you. Like I think a lot of people will resonate because obviously they see the mad moves, the mad push-ups, the mad muscle-ups, all this kind of stuff. But then it's like if you start communicating more, podcast more talking mm. like you really do that on youtube and that's the content that we were talking about with danny yesterday that that is kind of the start and this close friends aspect as well that people <laughs> feel yeah, really close to close friends bro. yeah so i think like getting the team, more the team are laughing as well about the close friends. What's what? Well, I Fucking think. close guys, so if you've seen the close friends you know if you know you know we took this opportunity where <laughs> dan was here to start our close friends and I've taken over the whole account. It's like my personal close friends. <laughs> it is his Literally personal Literally posting like that, yeah. <laughs> but now we'll give you our login details and you'll do the close friends. Yeah. Itself, yeah. Adam is going to be on the toilet, like, you know, oh, guys no. up. Too much, it's just going to go. <laughs> the view is going to go well, down. Well, now just take me down, take me down. <laughs> <laughs> the same pose, baby. Park is good as well, and we're opening you now. A new park. Another one, yeah, a new yeah. park. We told you about the location. Mm. We're, not, we're not announcing it right here, but... It's I, like an iconic, scenic... Location mm -hmm. like all all Maltese now. So you it. can see like a lot of the view. water from yeah. it, and you can you have you have sea view, you have country view, you have a bit of city view as well. You can yeah. see. So we did a story right before the podcast for anyone to ask. They ask any question they want, and I'm just going to shortlist some of the questions. So first one, <laughs> like yesterday, supersets or strict? Strict. I had no I doubt. You are you are fucking police yesterday. I had people. I had people exactly after they did the challenge come round and be like, "Bro, why why weren't my reps good?" And I was like, "Bro." And I was. If if Dan says it's an over rep, it's an over rep. Gotta be like that. Yeah. Gotta be like At that. At the beginning, I was like, when you started, there was Denise next to us as well, <laughs> and I was like, and we're me and Denise were looking at at each other like, "Wow, this guy is strict. He's gonna give them a fucking." It wasn't even that. Like I could be even more, but like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But like we were it's discussing not, It's not a professional, but yeah. again, it's a lot of money, right? I heard people complaining and all of that, but like... But like we were saying, you know the fair. ones who put on the vest are the ones who have a chance to win. The ones who have no idea on how to put the vest on, from yeah, your observation, was like, was oh, like no, yeah. Yeah. they have no chance. So you kind of know which ones are which, and then you see the first two pull-ups and you count. If yeah. you know that they have good form because these guys could potentially win it yeah. then he's that's, strict. that's where you need to be and strict. police mode goes on that's where you need to go count police mode on but for the guys who are trying it out yeah people were complaining like how oh, did you count him 10 but you didn't count me like you're not gonna do more than 20 so i can have a little bit wiggle room yeah, yeah, right yeah. with some people who are not that <laughs> yeah. strong i'm not gonna be like no rep no rep in front of 200 300 people yeah right yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i did that at the world championship as well it was a time limit, I think three minutes, right? To do the whole routine. It's like an endurance routine. They had, I think, three minutes uh, time cap. And they were already at two minutes and a half. And they're still at the half of the routine. So you just... So I'm like, like just let them, let yeah. them go through it. Let them go through it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Not going to embarrass you in front yeah. of yeah. everyone. Okay, Dan, what's something people don't know about you? <laughs> Foot fetish. Whoa. Whoa. Danny. Danny's going for the Whoa. What the hell? I don't have a foot fetish. <laughs> I like when a girl has nice feet. But that's not a foot fetish. Yeah. I mean, no, you always want nice no, feet. The no, the toenails, right? the fucking toenails have to be... Yo, this is going to be fucking weird. <laughs> 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 I knew that I put the foot fetish to toenails. It's going to be all Yo, Yo, Dan, Dan, Dan you fucked yourself. Sean is going to If she it. doesn't take care of her feet, she's not taking care of anything else. Yeah. So like you have to, yeah. and she has to, uh, when you have a date, it's not normal to tell her to take off her shoes. What do you mean? No? You're on a date and you ask a girl to take off her shoes? Depends where is you are. Weird? Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Is that a, That's, no, that, that does not happen here. Like, <laughs> unless, unless you're going get, to go get into the bed, bro. No, yeah. No, 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 you have to, no, <laughs> you have to take her to the pool. Yeah, but you can't be at the But you take her to the pool to see her face. Cool, what if she, not to see her feet. I don't know about I you. Mean, you know, <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know about you. <laughs> but I don't think you're at the restaurant. You're tell him, take off your shoes. Yo, he's on a date like, hey, nice to meet you. Let me see your shoes. Let me see your Bro, food. there's a good question that could Not be. right away, but you, you <laughs> have to say hello. How are you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Take off your shoes. Yeah, there's yeah, a good yeah. question that could link to this, but it could not link to this as well. Biggest regret. I don't have any. Nice. Not one regret. Sorry, sorry, how can it link to the feet? 
Because maybe he has a story She that didn't take her well, shoes. Yeah. Well, I didn't oh, I, I, I did her for six months. I never saw her feet. Oh, no. Oh, like, shit. biggest regret. Oh. Six months wasted. <laughs> no, I don't have any. I don't have any regrets. Let me see if there's... No, no. Okay. Not that I can think of. Okay, Day. What keeps you motivated when you find it hard to train? And that's something you touched upon. Not, no, I, I'm not motivated to train ever. No? No, not really. You know, sometimes you have like five minutes, like, oh, hyped. Yeah. Gonna work out, whatever. But I'm, usually I'm not motivated to work out. I think it's just discipline. It becomes part yeah, of Yeah, it's, it's, it's a part of you. It's a part of my routine. Yeah. I know what I have to do when I have to do it. Right? Yeah. It's, a, it's a job as well. Yeah. So, like, uh, for me, I'm motivated or not. I know I have to go it. to the. I'll, yeah. I'll do it's it either a, way. There's a Serbian question as well. Kako si brate? I'm good. Dobro. Okay. I'm it's good. how are you, bro? Yeah, how are you? Okay. Kako si brate? All good. Look at you, look at you, man. Yeah, it's not bad, eh? Local. How long are your workouts? Depends on the workout, but like... Average, two. Two hours. Average. You train once or twice a day? Currently, uh, I've been doing two. Two a day? Yeah. So four one. hours training every day? No, 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 no. So like in the morning or during the day, like two hours. And then I do like cardio additional things like yeah. 40 minutes yeah i think i think two or three hours a day it's like yeah. my typical yeah. and, and and obviously guys they on trains twice a day that's why he's so into ice butts that's why he loves his recovery yeah um, uh, they managed to smash three minutes in the ice butt <laughs> very important yeah yeah he did, he did three seconds at like 30 centimeters three seconds not even i mean he don't, not, even, he, not even just three. pop the video over you don't Bro, need to communicate that was, that's it. i was like man what I, yeah, I, you know, don't I like really the expected you to smash the ice, bro. So the, the, the funny part was like, I don't like the cold. That's your homework for the next time you come. I'm not doing You have to do it at least There's a no minute, way. bro. There's no way. So you give I can't even, I can't I can't even take a homework. shower in the cold water. Man. Can't even take a shower. So we arrived in the villa and we just saw this guy clear a 1.5 meter static box jump. And then the day after we said, okay, let's do a four or five degree ice butt. Man, this guy is just I really, jumping. I really thought that I could do at least a minute. I don't know why. Bro, you got I, I think work. I was like delusional. Or I don't know. Or you guys gaslight me. You just, you were shouting in, uh, the, in the fucking, yeah, I don't, I, in the butt. I was like, bro. Yeah. And then in the pool, I was delusional. was freezing I really in the thought, pool, in the sun, in end of April, in, 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 in Walton. I don't know what I was thinking. Do you man. mentally think that if I didn't go in first? I wouldn't you, know. No, not even There's that no would way. have changed I, anything. No. I had literally, before we came here, I had like a, an image in my head, like in the bath, you know, just like concentrating, like it's gonna be a cool reel, it's gonna be a cool video. <laughs> as soon as I touched it, I was like, I, I, Have you I'm done any gram, bro? Have I'm you done an any idiot. ice butts in Dubai? In, in we Germany? had one, but it was, it was like a cold bath. That was the video. It was really cold, me. it was really cold. You were in for two seconds, bro. Uh, no, I, I saw this la- video. Yeah, that's when I jumped in, but I uh, I, later I went in and I did like, I think half a No, 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 half a minute maybe. Half a minute? Maybe half a minute, it was really cold. But I can't, I can't take the cold. The, the next time you come back, you have to... I'm not doing it, there's no amount of money. It's gonna be so hot in water, bro, you have to do it. There's no way, the, even, oh, that's even worse, bro. I'm not, I'm not going in. I have a very, like, a question I ask a lot of people towards the end of these conversations. So what if you had two weeks left to live and you know, like, listen, the doctor tells you you've got two weeks left to live. What are you gonna do in those two weeks? I wouldn't change. What? I wouldn't change anything. I'll still keep working out, do good workouts, find my peak week to be at the day when I die. <laughs> I don't think I will change anything. I, I live my life pretty much so, as I want. I do what I want. Yeah. I accomplished a lot of things. So if you tell me you're gonna die in two weeks, you have two weeks left, what well, would you change and do differently in those two? I don't think. I will change anything. That's quite a satisfying answer, I think. Yeah, it doesn't get better. Yeah, yeah I don't think I will change anything. I, I'm surrounded by good people, yeah. good friends, tight. Oh, right? thanks, bro. Good team. <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at this guy. No, He's yeah. jumping in. But yeah, I mean, I collab with people I like. I yeah. do what I want every day. I wake up in the morning and be like, what am I going to do today? Yeah. I don't do anything I don't like. It's a good life. I what managed nice. to do. What are you like? Plans for this year, 2023, last six months, seven months in? Oh, I mean, um, yeah. to be honest, like upscaling everything. We have some big projects that I can't really talk about right now. 
I, I think I told you. You briefly mentioned, yeah. A few things that we're in the upcoming months, but upscaling everything I do, making even better content, being more maybe... YouTube. YouTube. Subscribe. Better content. Making more, m making more content on every social media. Yeah, and not only, I think not only workout videos, like yeah, I think it's podcast, this. vlog. Because yeah. for the long, like, people know me for a decade now, even more. I'm pretty private. Yeah. yeah. I don't, like, when you go on my page, it's only workouts. Yeah. Only workouts. Not, not even that much, like, lifestyle. Now, start, okay, the traveling, yeah. where I live, kind of, yeah. where I stay, what I eat, who I hang out with. Who, who is there, you know? Yeah, a little bit more, not totally in. I'm already in public. I like to keep things at least for myself, yeah, yeah. right? If you if I put that in the public, then people will attack it. Yeah. People attack my workouts, <laughs> right? Imagine what do, what they, do they say, <laughs> oh, bullshit, yeah. bullshit. Whatever I do, right? Are you fake? I do no. I do. You do a tattoo. People attack the the at that's, tattoo. That's social media. I mean, right? You, you have change, to fuck the noise, yeah. You know? change whatever. People will attack it. So if you start doing your, your, you know, private life, put it in front of the screen. People will attack it. Yeah. You know, you put family. You put the most comments I get like, oh, where is your family? Where is this? Where is your dog? Where girlfriend? They expect to see like your whole, dad, whole Instagram. Whole life. Yeah. yeah, I, I can't. I can't do that. People will attack yeah. it, destroy it. Right. So I keep it private, but. It's only showing more of more of me. Yeah, I agree. Like we were discussing for the past two, three days, like your workouts, videos, content is insane. Now it's just more getting into people content. knowing me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. With, with I joke nice around. Though I, I agree with you. Some things always need to be kept private. It's not something to go there, completely. There's a line, of I mean, per personally, that's. I wouldn't want to show everything. I'd like to have a nice yeah, private split. Not, you know, to not be a bit secret. Private. It's yeah, never exactly. who, I, who I'm dating or anything like that. People see private. me in the streets, yeah. right? I don't hide it. Yeah. I just don't post anything. Guys, yeah. leave right. that for close friends. So there you also Even talked there, about... Even there, I don't <laughs> post them. <laughs> you, you talked about the aspect of traveling a lot and lifestyle. What was your opinion for on Muelta before you came? And what's your opinion now? No, I knew it's going to be beautiful, right? And you, you guys told me it's going to be a lot of people. We hyped you up. You hyped me up. Yeah. You put the standard pretty high. To be honest. And it went beyond. Yeah. So it's I'm glad to hear, bro. Looking forward to having you back in approximately six weeks. More activities, more events, more bigger, people, bigger, more fun. Better. Yeah. Let's vibe. You what? You can't get bigger? Maybe. Bro, no, I need finally to... Finally, I'm going to have time to bro, work out. You bro, need to get... You need guy. to get fucking This rip. fucking guy. This fucking guy all the time. Bro, how am I going to get like you? And then he's fucking ordering then everybody's then he the fucking place. We'll go eating. for dinner. I'm ordering the whole man. menu. Then the dessert's like, oh, bro, I need the dessert. And you're like, fuck no. You're not, you're not going to fucking get... <laughs> In June, food. you have to be at least. Come on. Come on. Because, guys, the, the June project involves us obviously being a bit... More like more skin. Baywatch. Yeah. You're gonna be uh, the yeah. main. Yeah. How are you gonna, how are you gonna so, be like, Baywatch? So like, if we're gonna be, he's in gonna your... be. You know, in the films, there's always the the the. He's gonna be Pamela. He's train. gonna be Pamela. Definitely. <laughs> Brother, <Pamela. laughs> my creator. <laughs> he's gonna be Pamela. <laughs> so that's a challenge for put me. Put a wig. Put the wig on. A, you should give us a program. To learn. Try get some training in. Yeah, yeah we'll look at him. He, he, he's gonna need a bra. <laughs> <laughs> but Continue that's like that, bro. His program will be on the line if I don't fucking commit to it. No, you, you have to get in shape. Yeah. I also finally can work out for a month, month and a half properly. Traveling is killing me. What's your goal? Maintain? Lose a bit? I'm already pretty, pretty ripped. Yeah. Just maintain. Just to get a pump back. Just continue working yeah. out. Get the strength back a yeah, little it's bit. It's good to get back in that routine, no? Just the routine. When yeah. you're traveling, the routine gets totally messed up, you know? Thank you so much for doing this with us for the Thank past four days. It has been a great. Guys, hope you enjoyed tuning in to the Bulletproof Podcast with Dan Stipke, the man himself, the gorilla icon. <laughs> <laughs> that, and that was it's nice. over and out. Nice. Thank you, guys. Last thing on that, next episode of Gym Dates. Ooh. Yo, yo! We need yeah. a Cali. You version. enjoyed, you enjoyed watching the video. Huh? You enjoyed, eh? I'm My not, suffering. Oh, I'm yeah. not gonna be on the. Gym I can't wait to see you on. Bro, the you should be the love coach, though. Be. Yeah, yeah, you'll be the, the love coach, and then Sean okay. comes and surprises you, and before you know it, you're in a date, and 
Who's you gonna know, be on a date? You're gonna be on a date. I'm not gonna. I will, I'll get killed at home. You're gonna I'm be. Gonna, a... I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get killed. <laughs> oh, I know yeah. who we can put on the date. I know. I know. I know. Oh. 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 100k subs. Oh. Oh, that's gonna push it over the edge. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if this pod gets no, 10,000 likes, I'll buy a bottle of champagne. <laughs> Vanilla, amazing. Oh, if this video gets 10,000 likes, I'll do gym dates naked. No, no, no. Okay, it gets one like. It gets one like. You just need one. No, one like. Yeah. I'm doing fuck all. <laughs> Fucking hell. My God. Nice. Good. It's a wrap, baby. It's a wrap.